out there show fire tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Beautiful. Thank you very much. Please welcome the stage for our next improvisational endeavor, Thomas Boyd, Lance Crawl, and the mighty Jim Ice ahead of Co. Give a little sugar, ladies and gentlemen, and they're working hard. <laughs> three prisoners, ladies and gentlemen, three prisoners. Go on into your jail cell here, guys. All three of these prisoners are sick, ladies and gentlemen. It is from the daily special today that the prison served. What is the daily special called today? What was it Chicken called? Chicken fried steak. Tuna surprise, the first thing I heard. Tuna surprise. And uh, su surprisingly enough, the main ingredient in tuna surprise is? What is it? Chicken pot pie. <laughs> That's a surprise. The tuna surprise is actually chicken pot pie. <laughs> Very good. Now, all three of them are sick because of this daily special. What physical pain are they experiencing? What bodily symptoms? Hold on, hold on. Right, right here with the, with the gray shirt. What is it? Diarrhea. Right there. Oh, oh. I can pick them. <laughs> okay. They're having some... some <laughs> They're having some digestive problems that make them go blind occasionally. Okay? They got a little bit of a gaseous problem, and it's such an intense gas that they go blind sometimes. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, there is one game here, and that game is this. At all times, one actor must be sitting, one must be standing, and one must be lying down. If one is to change, the others must immediately accommodate to maintain the correct combination of sit, stand, lie down, give them a little sugar. Here we go! Oh, oh no. If it's not, it's not humane. No. I'm a vegetarian who eats fish. Oh. You know, that means I can eat tuna surprise, but I can't. I can't handle chicken pot pie. Oh <laughs> lord, no, no chicken pot pie. Why do they just call I it chicken pot pie, man? Oh god. Dude, I find if you lay down on your side, it kind of oh. uh, takes away the pain. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh god, why'd they turn out the lights? Oh, oh. What's going on? I can't see anything. Oh, uh, whoa. You guys still here? Yeah. I, <clears throat> well, hey. Whoa, it's back. That was weird. <sighs> Wait a second, right. what was that? Stay right. Stay right. Stay right. Stay right. <laughs> Stay right. <laughs> it ain't right. Oh. oh. Dude, I'm serious. I'm serious. Just come lay down like this Ooh. and then we'll fix things. Thomas, lay down like that. Thomas, you're try, the one try, try, having I, a bad time. I, I can't try. stand it. Oh. Go ahead. Oh. Doesn't it feel Ooh. better? Y'all yes, right? Yeah, oh, Seriously? Oh. Stay there. Oh. Oh. Stay there. Oh. 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 What's wrong? Uh oh, uh, feel uh, oh. Whoa. Oh. That's it. Jim? Guys? Where are you? What? Dude, this is freaking me out. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Oh. oh, he's he's somewhere. You guys all right? Yeah. yeah. Ooh. Jim? Oh. Yeah. I'm right, I'm right here. Hey, hey, oh. hey, what's Thomas? I, I I'm right here, I'm behind you, man. Hey, you I'm gotta wave you. the fumes, Whoa. wave oh. the fumes, man. Oh, oh God. Uh, oh. Oh. What? You all right? Oh. Yeah. All right? Hey, guys, guys, this is bad. We're going blind Real and bad. we have gas. Listen. It's, I've never heard of such. I'm telling you guys, listen to me for just a second here. Oh. It's the fumes. When the fumes get into your eyes, you, you lose vision. Okay. So that means hold it in. No, just hold wave it in. away, man. You hold it in, the sink. Oh. Wave, 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 wave. I remember when I was uh, growing up, my dad used to call me dumbass a lot. He thought. Uh, there was really something wrong with me. And um, finally, when they diagnosed me with narcolepsy, it didn't really change my life all that much. It didn't ruin me. It didn't ruin my social life. I still went out on dates and stuff, but uh, it would be damned inconveniencing. Thank you. 
Quarter Center. Where? Oh, really? Epilepsy bit there. In my yeah. 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 Good. So what's happening in your life? Anything at all? A whole lot of nothing. Uh, you ready for this next scene? Here? Oh, baby. All right, let's welcome Sarah Baker, Lance Crawl, and Kaylin Conover to help us out on this scene. Here they come. Go ahead and get into your places. Lovely couple here, ladies and gentlemen. Sarah and Michael, a lovely couple. They've been a loving couple for many, many years. But now, she's still in love with him, and he, he wants to dump her and break her heart. Why does he want to do this? He wants to become a monk, okay. He wants to become a monk, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to break her heart, but it's a decision that he had to face, a decision that he had to make. There are two games. The first one is called Helping Hands. They will not be using their own hands, as you will see. The second game is called Confessions 1 through 10. They must confess things to each other, ladies and gentlemen, things they've done wrong in their lives, confessions. If I say one, if I say Michael one or Sarah one, we're looking for a mild confession. But if I say one, a number closer to 10, we're looking for a real awful confession, improvised, on the spot. Give them a little sugar. Let's see how we do with this game right now. <laughs> cute. Thanks. There's no problem. It's the truth. Listen. <laughs> You're adorable and oh. Okay, just <laughs> once. <laughs> oh. oh gosh. <laughs> After all this time, when you kiss me, it's like magic. I don't know. <laughs> well, Sarah, I, I'm glad. I, I really am, but... I'm glad. I'm really glad. <laughs> you just got to let me talk for a second, okay. sweetie. I, okay. I've got to tell you something. My mouth is sealed. Um, I, I, I really need something a little more spiritual in life. I mean, I, I love you, and what we have is deep. I mean, it's really deep. Mm -hmm. I, I, I haven't loved anybody like I love you, except, <laughs> except for God. And, uh, this so is, you want to go to church more? That's cool. I want to go. I love church. I want to go. <laughs> you're just, you're not, you're not hearing me. Okay, okay. You're not hearing me. Open your ears, Sarah, and listen to me because I've got something to tell you. <laughs> I am going to the mountains in North Georgia to join a Benedictine monastery. Catholic order, no women allowed, and I'm going to give myself to the Lord because... For the how Lord, long? As long as my earthly days. What? For my life, sweetie. Michael, five. Which is why I think probably now is the time to tell you that... I use your toothbrush to scrub away that little dirty ring on the inside of the toilet. <laughs> Because it's like there's this little devil in me, and until I get him out, I, I can't be with you. I, I can only be with God, and I've got to go to these. I've got to go to this monastery. Michael, excuse me, but that's not very godly, okay? That's downright dirty and germy. Oh, God. I know. That's the point. I should have done it. Sarah, too. Well, I've done things too. Um, <laughs> one.
one time I spanked the dog on the butt and he wasn't even being bad. Sarah, eight. And another time I stepped on the dog's head 18 times in a row. Sarah, ten. And then the last time I killed the dog and they ate part of its brains. Oh my God. I thought I was sick. I thought I had this little devil nagging at me and I was the one that needed to go away. I, I'm not sick, I was just really hungry. <laughs> well, I've done bad things, sweetie. I've done much worse things than you ever could dream Michael, of. Michael, 10. Uh, your mother is in the compost pile out back. <laughs> Much, ladies and gentlemen. Please welcome Jennifer and Kaylin. Here they come for the next scene. Here they come. Hello. Climb on up there. Go ahead, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to use a, an entire list of suggestions. Different types of stereotypes, different types of people, stereotypes, and different styles of movies. Different styles of movies, television, theater. I'm going to be changing their style of acting, whether it's a stereotype or a, or a type of movie or type of television or type of theater, change the way that they act throughout this scene. This is a mother and her son. Why is she so proud of him today? He stole a chicken. He stole a chicken. First thing I heard. He, he stole a chicken and that means a lot to some moms. <laughs> what bad news must he impart to her this morning? He got loose. He lost the chicken. The chicken's dead. The chicken's no good anymore. So it's not all that it was cracked up to be in the first place. This is their breakfast. This is their morning. This is where they break the news to each other of her pride, of his disappointment. Give him a little sugar. The game is stereotypes and styles. Here we go. let you have all three kinds this morning. <laughs> Gee, thanks, Mom. That is what a man gets when he provides for his mother. <laughs> it's really nice of you to say. Um. Well, well, it's nice to feel. You know, ever since your father left, I've been feeling like it's just me here. Just me doing it all. And then you go Soap out Soap opera. And... You go beyond what any of your brother's twin sisters ever did. <laughs> you stole something from me. You stole. I know. I stole from you, Mom. If I can call you that. I stole your soul when I stole that chicken. Well, yes, you stole it. Tearjerker. Yes, you stole it, but you took it out and you put a little diamond in it, and then you put it back in and zipped it up tight. And that's how I'm feeling right now because I love you. I love you. Mom, I'm not the good son I was cracked up to be. That's... Hillbillies. Oh, well. <laughs> Damn, you know? That, that chicken they want was a much, you know? Went out there, I fetched it from the lawn. Cock and doodle doo 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 Shot at it with my 12 gauge about 15 times, but the sucker was already dead. What? Yeah, well, did you blow its head right off? I'd love to see a chicken's head fly off. Oh. <laughs> love you, mama. Japanese you horror movie. <laughs> and I do not mean to bring disgrace to the family, but I feel like I have disgraced the honor. Why? What have you done? <laughs> What is that I hear outside? <laughs> Sound like being chicken. Spanish channel, Spanish channel. Ah, come on, he's there. You know what you're saying. 
loco tu madre? Ay, yeah, sí, sí, y a loco, y a loco. Chico, chico, chiquín, pues Pluto. <risa> What I like, I guess, the most about magic is, 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 you know, seeing the sheer enjoyment of the person who just got fooled, you know, by the sleight of hand or the trick of the eye. Do you believe in magic? Good, because you're about to see some magic. All right, what I want you to do is I just want you to pick a card, any card. Any card at all. All right, cool, and I'll show it to the camera. And now I want you to put that card in your back pocket. I want you to pick another card. I want you to put that in your front pocket. Yeah, show it to the camera. Put it in your front pocket, Graham. All right, now I want you to pick out one more card. All right? And I want you to put that in your other back pocket after you show it to the camera. OK, cool. What I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you to just watch me shuffle the deck here. Make sure that my hands aren't coming anywhere near you. You remember the cards that were in your pockets, right? All right, now all I want you to do is I want you to touch my finger. I'm going to show you the move here. Okay, that's the move. Now take out the cards out of your pocket. All of them. Show the camera. Were those the cards that you put in your pocket? <laughs> it's magic. <laughs> I want you to put that, I want you to put that underneath your shawl or underneath your jacket. Okay. Oh, goodness. <laughs> okay. Definitely, definitely, you're, it's, that card's safe. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make your card appear. Okay. All right, now go ahead and look underneath your shawl. <laughs> Go ahead, look at it. Look at the card. It's the same thing. <laughs> What's the magic about that? <laughs> what I really get off on is watching the amazement in people's eyes. After a trick, they're usually speechless. I don't agree when people say that magic is scary, but I can understand them, because magic does make us question our own reality. It makes the seemingly impossible possible, right in front of our eyes. It makes us feel a little ignorant, but at the same time, all too human. It's magic. Crawl, ladies and gentlemen, Lance Crawl and Mr. Jim Isa. I want to thank you all for being such a great audience all night long. Give yourselves a little sugar. You've been so good to us. Thank you. Thank you very much. Absolutely. We are now going to put forth the greatest challenge of the night, ladies and gentlemen. You have seen us change the actors' emotions, styles, use subconscious thoughts, but now we are actually going to change their dialects and ask them to change it to Dave, different famous people, famous impersonations. Take your places up here, guys. They are in jail. They are in prison here. Famous murdering 
duo right here. Famous murdering duo. Can I have a type of profession? Professional wrestlers. <laughs> professional wrestlers. These guys have killed dozens of professional wrestlers. Dozens of, they're little serial killers, this pair here. And they've gone around offing the professional wrestler clientele of America, ladies and gentlemen. All the big shouting bastards are getting offed one at a time. They are going to be changing dialect impersonations. If you were Jim, Jim waved to the audience, and you had five minutes left to live. They're on death row. Together, they're about to be executed in five minutes. They have five minutes left to live. If you were Jim, what would you talk about for the last Bowling. five minutes? Bowling. Excellent. <laughs> Bowling. If you were Lance, what would you want to talk Gardening. about? Sex. What is it? Gardening. Gardening. Okay. <laughs> Gardening. And what was the other thing I heard all the time? Gardening. Sex. 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 Okay. Well, that's always a good one. We'll throw that right in with, with bowling and gardening. Sex is in there somewhere. All right. This is a big challenge. You've been so good to us all night long. Please give them a little encouragement one more time. Here we go. Thank you very much. talk about that heavy stuff anymore man yeah you know I mean there's so many there's only so many times we can discuss the afterlife and just don't even say it again you know just yeah let's see what happens right yeah some people say that there's no hell at all it's just never nah, 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 forget it don't yeah you know the one thing I'm gonna miss more than anything <laughs> what's that that sound that sound. Oh, yeah. You know, you know, hearing the pins just oh. bling, 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 bling. I forgot you were so you good. Maybe you were the turkey oh. master, oh, you know? I was the turkey master, man. They're, they're yelling Thanksgiving to me all day long, man. I get those three X's in a row. I'm not going to get myself worked up. It's just. You know, I got to tell you, it's the weirdest thing been on my mind. We're sitting in here. Four walls, concrete and steel. And all I can keep thinking about is daisies. German. You mean? Perhaps some, you know, the lawn. A pretty lawn. It's rolling hills, yeah? Ah, you're speaking of gardening, yes? Ah, you Wouldn't are it be man. nice to smell the, the real oxygen the given by the trees? You, you smell it, they, they give you a symbiotic life, yeah? yeah. Scottish. That Scottish. would be great. Hey. <laughs> sure would, you know, it would be perfect. What's that? To go inside a bowling alley filled with gardenias. Indian. That would be a perfect combination of your wish and my wish. I'm telling you what. I cannot help but think right now that if I could be anywhere for my final days, it would be inside a Indoor bowling alley. Mexican. With like, you know, like trees and vines yeah. and like some flowers. I mean, you know, I'm not, I don't care. I'm gonna die today. I like flowers. I like hibiscus, I like roses, I like daisies. There's nothing wrong with that, man. No, man. Do you know what I mean, you know? So you... Leave me some skin, man. Proper yeah. British, proper British. Oh, but I can't help but think of Mr. Wrestling number two. Yes, yes. And his desire for daisies as well. Well, actually, daisies were on his outfit. I don't think oh. he actually liked them. Well, he was such That's a... That's why he deserved to die. Oh, they all did. I mean, he was such a, what do you call it, hypocrite. Oh. You know, it's like, you were talking about daisies, but it's really, you know, it's not on your mind. Jamaican. You know what I'm saying, man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, these guys there, they, 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 don't know what's they don't know what's up and what's down. I don't even feel bad. No beta remorse at all, man. No way. <laughs> Woody Allen and Sean Connery. The only remorse that I have is that, that, I'll, that I'll never be able to have sex again in my life. You, you probably forgot about that one in the middle no, of the No, no, you can share that again. <laughs> the, last, the last time I was with a quality lady, her hair was blonde, her eyes were blue. There and her go. skin was so soft. Leprechauns! Leprechauns! Hey, there's nothing like a soft-skinned lady. Ah, yeah, you're sure right there. Ah, yeah. 
Oh, to be in a bowling alley filled with flowers and soft-skinned ladies. Oh. Austin Powers and Dr. Evil. That's right, baby. It'll be groovy right now. Let's <laughs> give it a little spanking, you know, just for old time's sake, baby. Spank, spank, baby, yeah. <laughs> I don't think I'd be quite interested in spanking anything, though. <laughs> if I could just hear a bowling ball go floating down the aisle, or it would send sure, me Sure, whatever gets sure. your mojo going. Vietnamese. You know? Vietnamese. No. What? You know, whatever. No. It's fine with me. You're my best friend. That I will not ever forget. You're my best friend, also. I think um, if I could die with any bond... Bill be... Cosby and Christopher Walken. It would be with you. I have to say, my days inside the cell have been okay, but you being my best friend has made it all worth the while. And now we only have, what, five hours to live. <laughs> so let's close our eyes right now, close them out. Closing my and eyes. I'm gonna imagine you on the lanes getting a perfect 300, and you imagine me on the grass, watering the tree, or whatever's. I love you, you're my friend. Give it up for him, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. Thank you for being here. Give it up for the people in the booth. My beautiful A-team crew right here. And from left to right, we have... Hey, 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 That's all. Hey, 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 h